Good morning, it's Carrie Prince from Apollo Career Center, and this morning I am going to make for you a pineapple crunch dessert. Starting with 16 ounces of crushed pineapple and juice, I've got this in a saucepan. I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch to this, just to thicken it. You're gonna cook this about two minutes until it gets uh, translucent and a little bit thicker. Move that to the side. Boy, cornstarch is messy. All right, so I'm gonna stir that cornstarch into this and let that, oops, my goodness, let that cook just a few minutes. I'm gonna turn this down. All right, so while this is simmering, I'm gonna talk about the crust. Now this only makes an eight by eight. I would probably double this if I was making this for, you know, any amount of people. So you've got some corn flakes, just basic corn flakes out of the box. I'm gonna crush crush them with rolling pin, or you put them in a food processor. Okay, so you're gonna measure out, that's about two cups. You always wanna crush them first and then measure them. Then you're gonna add a third cup of butter. I'll put these in this bowl. Third cup of butter. That's melted. And two tablespoons of sugar. And this is your crust. So you've got that combined. And then you are going to press it into an eight by eight pan and bake it about 10 minutes. All right, so I've got this going. I know it hasn't quite been two minutes, but for the sake of our segment, I'm going to call it two minutes. And now this has to cool. So I'm going to try to cool this quickly. I've got a bowl of ice and I'm just going to put this pan right into the ice and cool that. Actually, I'm going to put this because this pan is hot. So it's going to take longer for the pan to cool off. So let me do it like this. Kind of stir that and put that on the sides of that bowl. That will um, cool rather quickly. All right, so let's make the other part of this. Uh, I've got two cups of semi soft vanilla ice cream that I'm going to put into this mixer. So it's not totally melted, but it's not, you know, completely hard right out of the container. Then I've got a small three ounce of instant vanilla pudding. Combine that together. And then I'm just going to combine this. It's kind of a little noisy. Put that together. Stir this to get that heat release. be your filling. Now we are going to top the this ice cream bowl. I've got a lot of stuff here. It looks like a lot, but really this is a pretty quick dessert. I've got the ice cream mixture. I'm going to put right over the crust. I'm going to use this way. So I'm going to spoon this right over the crust. And then just be careful that your crust doesn't pull up. A lot of times it will, so you have to be, kind of put it, put your filling in like almost dollops, if you will, so that it doesn't completely come apart from its sides. This is still cooling. The ice cream is a nice thing. It's getting warm. You know, it's a warm day today. So this would be a nice dessert. Good for a banquet you got to take stuff to. I don't know about a graduation party because this ice cream won't sit out real well. You're going to have to serve this kind of immediately when you've, re after you, you know, you refrigerate it. It won't sit out very well. All right. So now after you've got the ice cream in there, now 
Again, our perfect world, this is going to be ice cold because you've chilled it like in the refrigerator for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes. Still a little bit warm. So this is probably gonna melt this a little bit, but I just wanted to kind of bring this together quickly. So you're gonna put that, oh, it smells good. Put the pineapple over top of your ice cream. Then you can refrigerate this. You don't have to do it very long. Refrigerate it, I don't know, half hour or so. I'm gonna go ahead and cut it right away. But again, it will uh, come hold together a little bit better if you refrigerate it. First piece is always the hardest. So there we go. We've got our pineapple crunch dessert. I'm gonna add a little bit of whipped cream to the top. Pretty, pretty. And then, just because when I think of pineapple, I always like these cherries with it. They bleed, so you gotta kind of dry those off a little bit. And then pop a cherry on the top of that, and look how pretty that is. Our pineapple crunch dessert, and the recipe can be found at apollocareercenter.com. And first edition will be right back.